Got the tow hook in the back. Almost needed it today. I'm also thankful that I switched to the stronger steering knuckles in front. Ended up up to my axle in sod. When I spun and went off the track, you can see how far it went up the car. That was so fun though. Man, this hardcore sway bar really, really rotates. And I had fun. Steering. Much quicker than I was used to the last time I raced, so I was putting in too much steering lock Here go. for what the car needed when I tried to save it. And so instead of saving it, um, I can't remember how it all went down through this long, but all I remember is that it started to feel like I was way out of position, and so I went to save it and. Uh, I remember that I ended up backwards, more than backwards, and the driver's side spun off, and I have, and I, I helped fix all of these cracks in the track too. So, and when I was taking all the material out before we fixed it, making sure that I discarded it way out into this area so that it, if anybody went off the track, they wouldn't hurt their car. Little did I know that it would be my car that went off the track. I think this is the one of the key cones, or maybe that cone back there was a key cone. And I messed things up and I was so out of line by the time I got here that, that the marks that you see on the asphalt are from my car. I think you can see skid marks starting from way up here. My car started to rotate facing back that direction as I spun off the track and that's where my front wheel sits, slid sideways off into the dirt and that's where my back wheel kept wanting to go up into the dirt and see that there's really smooth <laughs> transition where I got rid of all the extra high stuff you can really tell from that angle, but there's a good amount of material up above, and I cleaned it all off with my tires, is scraped off and went off the track. I am so glad that I got the stronger steering knuckles because if all that load that was strong enough to put a huge mound of sawed out there with all that weight on that one corner that would have snapped the, the the stock steering knuckles so if you autocross your car even if you don't have race tires this is one reason why it'd be really nice to have them